Hello everyone. So, welcome to uh, Geeks for Geeks. Let's discuss the today's problem of the day, which is validate an IP address v4. So, uh, let's just uh, firstly read the problem statement. You are given a string str in the form of IP v4 address. So, we it is mentioned in the question that we are having the four subnets, which is in the IP v4 address form. Your task is to validate an IP v4 address or not. You have we have to check whether a given string is a, a valid or not. So valid IP address are canonically present in dot decimal notation, which consists of four numbers, four decimal numbers from a range of zero till two fifty five, separated by three dots. So um, x one, x two, x three, x four. We can uh, simply check uh, say that uh, x one, x two, x three, x four would be in the range of zero to two fifty five. And we have to check whether the given string is uh, valid or not. So let's discuss the very first test case. The uh, the very first test case is two twenty two one uh, one 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 and one 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 and one one one. So here we can simply check that uh, three dots are here and uh, three dots are four subnets are separated by three dots and all the ranges in between zero to two fifty five. Let's discuss the second test case five 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 then two adjacent dots then five five five. Here the test case is invalid because of the last subnet because of the two subnets are missing here the two two dots are here and the very first subnet are exceeding the two fifty five limit and the last subnet also exceeding the two fifty nine limit so uh, we have to solve this question in the order of n complexity let discuss this question in very simple way so the question is validate an IP address v four. So we are given string str form, and we have to check whether it is valid or not. So the condition of valid is x one, x two, x three, and x four would be in the range of two fifty five from zero. And there are four subnets separated by three dots. So subnet one dot subnet two dot subnet three dot subnet four. What uh, it is happening here? The every subnets. Should be in the range of zero to two fifty five. So, how we can approach this question? So, the question is uh, we are having we are just iterating over the string str and check every character. And when we are encountering a dot, we have to just store the previous into as a considered as sub first subnet. The every subnets s one, s two, s three, and s four. So what we are doing, I am storing the all the values um, between dots or before the dots. Before the dots, I am storing the all the values in into a temporary string. I am using a temporary string and store all the values inside it. And what we are uh, have to check, just check its range whether its integer of temporary string should be in the range of two fifty five. Just check this part. So the, um, we are iterating over the string and check for every character. If it is a digit, then store into the sub, uh, temporary string before the dots. So our uh, loop will check only for three subnets: subnet one, subnet two, subnet three. Just because the last subnet are having the uh, values and there is no dot after the last last value. So that's why we are uh, left with the last subnet. That is four subnet. So the thing is, how we can check this last subnet? When we are uh, done with the uh, iteration part, and we are storing the values into our temporary string. So what we have to check? Uh, ev after every subnet check, the three subnets are checked here. So in the last subnet, the values present in the last subnet should be stored into the temporary array. what we are doing every time we are storing the values inside the our temporary array and the last subnet is already filled with in the temporary array so just check for the last subnet after the values if it is in the range so what we are doing just checking the first subnet <clears throat> before the dot and check its integer part whether it is in the range to 0 to 255 then Again, the second uh, dot is coming. What we have to do? Just storing the values between it and checking its value, checking its range. 
similarly for the th third and now every time we are using a temporary string and storing the values every time we are checking the string uh, and checking the its range and just reinitialize its value just empty the temporary string and store next part then store the next part then store the next part but here what happened now temporary string would be stored with uh, values of fourth subnet so now what what the what we are doing here just checking for the last subnet if it is in the range or not so let uh, <coughs> move to the code part of it string str so we have to check what we are storing into the temporary string every value so just declaring and temp with the temporary string and i am storing the characters before the dots into a temporary string so just check its range whether it is in the range or not and one more thing uh, like uh, just straight over the loop into the string and what we are what we discuss if our current character is not dot if it is not dot what we have to do just store into the temporary string else else do what now we are encounter with dot so when we are encounter with dot we have to store the previous elements and check its range so store uh, and now what is it is happening temporary string is filled with the previous values now the dot is come so we have to check whether our integer part of our temporary string is in the range firstly we have to check whether our temporary string is filled with some values or not why so so uh, let's discuss the second test case the 5555 then two dots then again 555 here the test case is false due to the first subnet let's discuss the one more test case where we can uh, we have to check the why we are having to check our temporary string is filled with some values let's say 255 then two dots then 255 what is happening here two subnets is missing is a one one when edge case and all uh, two subnets are in the range so two subnets is missing with the two dots here so what is happening here when we are encountering the very first dot what we are checking the previous value whether it is in the range then what we are uh, to do we are uh, uh, emptying the uh, temporary string so that we have to store the second subnet but here second subnet is missing so what we have to check now the second dot will encounter and then what is happening the previous uh, subnet is missing so that our temporary string would be empty temporary string is empty so we have to check this part to uh, check for adjacent dots if if uh, temporary string are having some size that means uh, all the subnets are present in the our given string so if our temporary string having some size and and what and our integer part of that value uh, of that uh, temporary string would be in the range so uh, k should be greater than 0 and k less than equals to 255 what we have to what we are doing just reinitialize the our temporary string just empty the temporary string empty the temporary string else <coughs> we discuss the two dots if these three values are not checked if these uh, if if is not true that means our uh, string are not true it is having some values either it is exceeding the uh, range or exceeding the two uh, or missing the two subnets or one subnet uh, so in after it else case we are just returning the zero we don't have to uh, we just have to tell that it is not a valid string so after it when we are uh, encountering with every character now what is happening here every value we are calculating the first subnet before the dot we are calculating the second subnet before the dot and we are calculating the third subnet before dot how we can check for the fourth subnet it is in the in that case how we can check we are storing the values into our temporary string that's it in the question that's it in our uh, approach 
and after it after it we are checking for the third subnet now every time whether it is not dot that means we are storing it into our temporary string every character so our temporary character would be having some values if it is fourth subnet it our temporary string having some values so just check for the last subnet so if uh, the integer part so just stoi i am using stoi to change uh, to change the temporary string uh, into its uh, integer part so temp uh, integer of uh, uh, a case should be storing the value of what value of our temporary string now what we are checking if the last subnet are having some values so temporary dot size would be having some value this is not answer this is this is temporary the last sub, sub, uh, subnet is having some values some string and its value it in the range 255 that means what our last subnet is also true so return one else return zero that's it in the question now we have to do the time to running it we can check that it is given the true now uh, we can use some some custom test case let's say we are including the 111 uh, we can easily check the range of the string would not exceed the 15 so how we can do it and we it is uh, already mentioned in the question that ipv4 is uh, the string is in the form of ipv4 that means three dots is there so our this test case would not be true this not be valid so that's why it will give you false just submit it code there's no edge case regarding uh, left so you can easily check that our all the test case is passed thank you everyone